and they will learn that death is stingless indeed and as beautiful as life. That is my hope for Bennett, that this amazing young man who was taken from us so suddenly, who was so well loved, was surrounded by everything that was beautiful to him. It is in this spirit that we return Bennett to that form from which God miraculously created all life. Ryan. Hold on. Let me, Ryan, just let me, hey, come on, buddy, let me in. Jesus Christ, Ryan. Open up some of these windows, would you? I don't care what you say. Next time you're gonna let Gloria up here. Sorry. It smells like something died and went to heaven. I didn't know she was here. No, she's not. But she's coming back very soon. Where have you been? I've been here. What, in the house? Then just check in from time to time, would you? Mother's worried. Okay. What I want to know, what I need to know, is um, what were the 17 minutes like for my son? I don't know what to tell you, Mrs. Brewer. I wasn't there. You've spoken with every doctor, every nurse, every paramedic, every fireman that was on call that night. I, I don't know what other information I can give you. What about Jordan Walker? Mr. Walker is still in a coma. I know, but I have a surveillance uh, tape, and in that tape, it looks as if they, they spoke that they might have had a conversation. Would he have been capable of having a conversation with my son? Uh, that depends on how slow the bleeding in his brain was. Uh, it's possible that uh, he could have stayed conscious long enough to, to carry on a conversation. Then he would have been the last person to speak to my son before he died. Yes. Uh, I have a point. No, I'm sorry. When do you think he'll wake up? Uh, as I've said numerous times before, Mrs. Brewer, I've given you all the answers that I know. But he could wake up. I mean, what would be the signs? I'm sorry. Alan? Alan? Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm sorry. I had a head for the numbers. Oh, you're sweating. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're right. 
Is this, uh, is, is this roster correct? Because uh, I don't have Linda down here for the summer. How are you? All right. You look like you've forgotten to sleep. I'm all right. I'm fine. Thanks for the flowers. They weren't necessary. I've wanted to call so many times. I didn't know what to do in this situation. I just want to be strong for Grace, that's all. That's, that's what I'm doing. Of course. So, we got, um, we got 30 students here. Ready and praying <clears throat> to graduate. Well, let's see what I can do. Huh? If you want anything, anything at all, just let me know. I will. Today, I even made a purchase. There seems to be a lot of research on the web about grief. And uh, I stumbled across a couple of interesting suggestions. Oh, Alan, no, no, don't. They suggested we use a bell. We can ring this. Missing Bennett. Oh, let me think about it. You can put it anywhere in the house you like. Can I see Bill? Rose, right? Yeah. Come on in. Just through here. Would you like some uh, tea, soda? No, I'm fine, thank you. I'm sorry for just stopping by. No, no, not at all. I'm glad you did. I've wanted to talk to you since the service. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. I'm, uh, I wish I could have given your wife more answers. I know how much she wanted them. She certainly does want her answers. She's very focused on the matter, but well, it's only a matter of time. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh. Water? Can I have some water? Yes, of course. Yeah, please, just uh, sit down and make yourself comfortable there. I've been trying to figure out how you knew Bennett. Are you part of youth and government? Uh, no. Ah, you must be a, an intern then at the, the, the paper. No. No? Um, community service? Just tell me if I'm hot or cold. Cold. Not East Ivy. I don't think he held on to any of his friends from his junior high. No, I'm the one who got pregnant. Excuse me? I'm pregnant. I'm sorry. But I'm... I don't understand. I'm three months pregnant. Is it Bennett's? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm gonna keep it. She told me they only spent one night together. I just can't believe she has nowhere else to go. There must be somewhere she can stay until the paternity test. Paternity test? I'm not putting that poor girl through that. Why are you defending her? I'm not defending her. I just don't see why she would make something like this up. Because she's 18 and broke. Oh, I can't deal with this. I just can't deal with this. Grace, Grace, Grace. We don't even know this girl. Oh, she seems like a nice girl. If it turns out to be his, I'm not going to be happy about it. I mean, I, I don't want everybody thinking that we're blessed. You don't think we're blessed, do you? No, I don't. She's probably the one. 
the one that dyed his hair blue, too. He never would have done that. Fanny's making the bed. I'm going to go down and get it. Wait, 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 wait. Please, why does she have to come to our house? We're grieving. That's not going to be good for the baby. This must be our only choice. Are you really pregnant? Yeah. That figures. One bad thing my brother does, he's not even here to get in trouble for it. I'm Rose. I know, yeah, I know you are. My brother kept your yearbook photo on his bedside table. He did? Yep. And I wouldn't touch it because he probably jerked off to it every night. So you're his little brother? Yeah, the fuck up. He didn't tell you that? He didn't tell you I was a fuck up? No. He never said you were fucked up. I was just being polite then. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why, do I not look like I'm okay? Well, you seem a little jumpy. I'm a little restless, yeah. You have a fever. I don't know why. I feel fine. Ryan? Yeah? My mom just checked into rehab. Bananas and Gatorade. Should help. What would you say if someone asked you about this night? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want a compliment from me so badly? Uh, because you haven't given me anything. I've given you everything. <laughs> right, but I want more. I want to know what you're thinking. Please. <laughs> I would say... I would say... Greatest. <laughs> I like that. I like those words. takes walks every night at six. I followed her two nights ago. She just circles the block over and over again looking for Jane. Hold that thought. Hi, you must be Ryan. Come in, please, sit down. We were just finishing up with Leighton. Feel free to listen or join in, whatever you're comfortable with. Okay. Sorry, Leighton. When I asked my dad where she was the first night, he said she was looking for James. Sometimes she'll just run to his bedroom and throw open the door like she expects to see him sitting at his computer or something. Often parents that didn't view the body like your mother still look for their child in crowds. Sometimes they even think they see them. It's normal, Leighton. 
best thing you can do for your mother is talk about it with her. I think it could help. So, Ryan, hi. Hey. What brings you here? Nothing. I just thought it was a normal thing to do. Are you experiencing any symptoms of grief? No. Who are you here to see? Jordan Walker. I don't know why they can't get this right. He prefers the blinds open during the day. Does he really? Mm -hmm. Did he tell you that after he requested the aquarium over there? Well, he just wanted a little life in this room. Uh, decaf, caramel macchiato, extra foam. She would tell me. If you're trying to bribe me into feeding that fish on the weekend, it's not going to work. No, it's fine. I'll be here on the weekends. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, and Tony, could you ask Dr. Jacobson to stop in when he gets here? I have a few questions for him. Right away. Thank you. You know, you don't have to share if you don't want to. You can just listen. I highly recommend not sharing, actually. These people are like grief vultures. And why are you here? Yeah. Nowhere else to go. And my sister Amy blew her brains out while we were at church. Oh, um, sorry. What about you? Well, my brother, um, he died in a car accident. There's a ton of car accidents here. Uh, Layton's father was in a car, so is Sarah's and Jason's. Uh, Hillary's sister Odeed and Jeremy's brother died before he was even born, and he's like the most dramatic one here. It's like, do you even remember him? So you're the only suicide? How do you know it wasn't murder? Because you just said she blew her brains out. Oh. <laughs> yeah, only suicide. Really special. You know, it does get easier or more interesting. All the different layers of fucked upness. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I'm I'm doing okay actually. Well, you know, even if you're not, the group's a really good place to talk about it. Your friends are gonna start avoiding you like the plague. Oh, I'm not even really talking about it with them. Well, then I'm really glad you're here. Did you ever notice me at all? Any of those times we passed each other? Did you at least recognize me at some point? Keep your eyes closed. I'm almost done. Yeah, they're, they're closed. They're shut. Good. So, you won, like, most popular, or best all around, or <laughs> best guy to know, right? Uh, right, yeah, it was just best all around. So you're a nice guy. Uh, you think so? Is that why you're here? Because you're nice to everyone? No. Okay, well, you don't look like the prom king anymore. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> My mom's gonna kill me. I think it suits you. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. So pretty, Rose. Please let us know if there's anything you can't eat. I can only imagine how sensitive your stomach must be right now. No, I mostly just crave bean burritos from Taco Bell. It's <laughs> peanut butter and bananas for Grace, <laughs> right? Right. When Grace delivered Ryan, we thought she was going to give birth to a banana split. <laughs> that was Bennett, actually. Ryan, how are you enjoying your summer? 
Summer's over. Right. Don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering that. Okay, here's another one. How's school? It's good. I got all the classes I wanted. Me and the guys hung out after school, went swimming, and we might go see a movie later. Excellent. Why is it excellent? Well, seems like a nice way to spend a day. All that's missing is a bean burrito. <laughs> I've got some for Rose. Great. Let's see it. So there's this website where you can take two people's picture and uh, see what their unborn kid looks like. And I took you and Bennett's yearbook picture. And according to them, your kid will definitely be riding the short bus. Well, that's not appropriate. Let me see. Oh, look. Look. Oh. At least it sets the standards pretty well, right? That's enough, Ryan. Thank you. I'll still love it. <laughs> look, he's got that. <clears throat> Anyone know if the weather's going to clear up for the weekend? Why do you do that? Why do you always change the subject when Bennett's name comes up? I don't. Yes, you do. Grace. You do? Watch. Did you dye our son's hair blue? Rose doesn't want to talk about this at the dinner no. table. Why not? I just want to know. Grace, leave it alone. Why make a point now? I'm not making a point. I'm asking a question. Did you or did you not dye our son's hair blue? I'm finished. Yes. You know, when I went to the morgue, I didn't think it was him. I thought they got the wrong boy because, I mean, our son would never dye his hair blue. And I thought maybe they made a mistake. And then I saw his face and... It was him. It was our son. And he was dead. Again. It was like he died twice. I'm sorry. You see, I didn't want to make a point. I just wanted to ask a question. Hmm. I could come to your office hours if that would be easier. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Dante. Let's go again from the top. Um, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll just make an appointment. I'm fine. I'm fine. Maybe you should think about taking a little more time off. I can find a midterm replacement. No, no, don't do that. I'm fine. Just haven't had my morning coffee, that's all. Can you have dinner with me tonight? No strings attached. We used to be good friends, remember? I... I just need one night of sleep, that's all. That's my problem. I just need one night of sleep. What about the beach house? It certainly is a wonderful place to forget about the world for a while. Grace loves the beach house. Right. Well, when Rick's mother died, I took the whole family to Florida for two weeks. It made a difference. I can't talk to you anymore. You know that. I'm just trying to make sure you're taking care of yourself. It's not always been crazy. Right? I'm going to go to the beach house. When? I don't want to hear about it. The decision's been made. The whole family's going. I said when. Now. Today. Can I bring someone? Yeah, sure. Who? Ashley. Fine. No drugs. <sighs> Please, Dad. Why not? I'm serious, Ryan. Okay, now help your mother pack. Do you think she wants a sample before we go? car crumpled like that. Maybe we should show this to Bill again because, you know, maybe something was wrong with the frame of the car. That wasn't. And he gets out of his truck, and he goes towards Bennett, and he's, it looks like he speaks to him. I mean, That's why Ryan's would he bend down If you like want to that, test it, he'd love you to test that. Talk to him, and then he gives him his jacket. Are you going to test the sample or not? Huh? He was alive for 17 minutes. Aren't you just the, even the slightest bit curious about what happened in the 17th? Oh, you know, maybe this is a good time to stop the testing, you know? Uh, I mean, Ryan's looking good, and let's not push it. What do you think? I think it's really important to be consistent. All right. I was just thinking that it's too much for you, you know? It's fine. I'm fine. I can do it. You didn't take her to the beach house, did you? Of course not.
wrapped around each other, trying so hard to stay warm. That first cold winter together, lying in each other's arms, watching those old movies falling in love. This is a great song. Has anybody ever made love to this song? Mom has. She's laughing. We had it all Just like Buggy in the car Starting it all Lately Am I sitting on his bed? Yeah. It's creepy. You guys get along? Uh, yeah. I mean, we did when we were little. Like, my mom says I used to follow him around all the time. He's really cute. <laughs> my mom thinks he was like the greatest thing that ever lived, but uh, he actually could be a real cocksucker when he wanted to. <laughs> you want a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he did. You probably would have wanted to date him. <laughs> yeah, you would have. Trust me. He had that effect on people. I think my mom even wanted to date him sometimes. What about you? What about me? Who wants to date you? I don't know. Uh, you maybe? Maybe. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat you down there. Then you're going to the water. Uh, sure. Uh, I bought a book. <laughs> I have this baby book. And there are so many questions I don't know the answers to. And so I was hoping you might like to help me fill it out. Is, is now a bad time? It's fine. What do you need? Um, let's see. Uh, his name. How did you come up with Bennett's name? Tony Bennett. The singer? Mm. Oh. I'm having a really hard time thinking of baby names. Alan and I couldn't agree on the girl's name. Um, I wanted Ruby, and he wanted something more traditional. Ruby, that's pretty. So I hope that helps you out. You gotta feel. You know, aren't you gonna go swimming with everybody? He always kicks when he hears your voice. Feel. I'm fine. Thanks. Please. Funny, isn't it, that you're the only one who will talk about him with me? I'd love to. More than anything, I have so many questions. I think you should go swimming. I'm Bennett. It's nice to meet you, Bennett. Yeah, you too. Okay. Hey, wait, uh, where are you going to college? Uh, Barnard, you? I thought you were going to NYU. No, I'm going to Barnard. They gave me a scholarship. All right, great. Yeah, I'm going Berkeley. No scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Work, I'm always really late. Yeah. Nice. All right, okay. Uh, now, please don't go. It's taken me like a year to get the courage to talk to you. Please don't go. He waited till 3 15 on the last day of school. Right. Yeah, I never said I had a good time. Either. I have to go to work. Okay. Yo, can I maybe come? Can I come with you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just it. Yeah. Yeah? Sure.
Wait, come out of the water! What? Don't question me! Don't! Just come out of the water now! I don't want to swim. God damn it! Come out now! Right now! And I mean it! Do you understand me? Come out, please! God damn it! Come out now! I, yeah, I did. It was, uh, it was good. It was good. A bit, a bit cold, but it was good. Oh. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. Just fine. Nothing like a, an ocean breeze, you know? I know. I always wanted to live by the ocean. But my mom thought it was too close to the moon. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. No, not really. <laughs> you know, your mother is more than welcome to come and stay with us if she wants. That wouldn't work. My mom's not really sane. Oh, I don't think that would scare anyone in our house. <laughs> the truth is, I haven't told her I'm pregnant. Why not? Because she'll she'll tell me I've chosen the wrong path. I don't want to hear that. I don't think you've chosen the wrong path. I'm not 100% sure why you chose it, but I'm not sorry you did. I know there are other options. Listen, we would have supported you either way. I'm not against any of them. No, it's, of course not. I just, I don't know. You don't know. No, I do know. You don't have to know. You no, don't have to know. It's, it's okay. We can talk about this at another time and... You should catch a movie. You want to see my only party trick? Sure. OK. Hold that. Mm hmm Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I've never actually done that at a party. I don't know how that comes up organically. Mm -hmm. Do you have any party tricks? Well, I don't know if it counts, but I never forget people's numbers. I tend to memorize numbers. What are my numbers? Well, you have 18 years, 216 months, 364 weeks, 25,920 days, 311,040 hours. You came to our doorstep on 8-14-2008 at 4.30 p.m. Your due date is 2-12-2009, which leaves 119 more days. 2,136 hours, 128,160 minutes. And you have two heartbeats. As I get to know you, I'll tell you more. That's a much better party trick. <laughs> Out back window. Window. He's upstairs. He's fine. Okay. What exactly happened? The wife had a difficult time at a grocery store and needed assistance. Oh, and she's out the back? Yes. All right. Thank you, officer. Okay. This is Rose. Yeah. You all right? I called a taxi. Well, why didn't you call me? Because your phone was off. I'm sorry. I was at the movies. You went to the movies? Yes, with Rose. It was, it was nice to get out. Well, how could you turn your phone on? It was only a couple of hours. But anything can happen in a couple of hours, anything. What happened at the grocery store? So is it a funny movie? I mean, did you laugh? Or was it sad? Did you cry? 
God, I'm, I can't stand that. Ouch. Thing. Really, I'm warning you. Don't stop. I just want to know what happened at the grocery store. That's all. Well, I've got an idea. If you wanted the two of you, you and Rose, go off to Paris or Rome or somewhere really romantic and just get a, a vacation from all this death. That's not fair. Now, you know what's not fair? It's not fair that you can go to the movies with her. And I can't even pass Bennett's favorite cereal. Oh, just don't, don't do this. Don't, just don't, don't. Alice! Oh, Alice! Alice! Where did you go? Don't, 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 No one else do you understand me. Sorry, I was gone so long, but I'm back now. I know, a wonderful look. They can't even follow the simplest instructions. How many times have I told them that you need the light? But, okay, enough of that. Let's read. Our Ellison again. I don't even remember where we are. It's the seventh or the eighth of the chapter. Let's see. Eighth chapter. You know, we're going to finish this whole summer reading list, which is a first. And I gotta tell you that the high school one is much more boring than the college. Okay, where were we? Let's see. He started toward me as in a dream, trembling like the needle of one of the gauges as he pointed toward the stairs, his voice shrieking. I stared. Something seemed to have gone wrong. My reflexes... You know... Alan, he hasn't always been like this. I don't want you to judge him. He's actually a very kind man. And you would see that if you met him. He's never... Loved anyone less than he should. Never. I want you to know that. It's just a phase. It's a phase that we're going through, that's all. It's like any other. What's the matter? I stammered my voice low in my mouth. It's all yours. What's going no. on? Wait a minute, what? Mr. Walker's being moved. What? Where? Why? Mr. Walker has warrants out for his arrest. We're taking him to county hospital where there's 24-hour security. It must be a mistake. There is no mistake. Stop it! What about all his things? You, you, he's you, not you, gonna you, need any of his he, things where he's going. But he's gonna be so terrified if he wakes up what and he doesn't have What do you think this, this kind of man is gonna Stop add to it. your life? No. The minute he wakes up, if he wakes up, he's being shipped straight to Rikers. Are you gonna visit him there, too? I think Grace might be having an affair. No. Oh, I wouldn't blame her if she was. I don't think she would do that. I did. I had one. I needed to know that she loved me. My entire married life, I've always felt like 
We were on our first date. <laughs> we never deserved her. Never. Do you want to go to a party with me? <laughs> Just three kegs. <laughs> For this one. I don't worry, these people are pretty non judgmental. Oh my god, you're huge! I didn't think it was possible for you to stretch like that. Shay, this is Alan. Alan, this is Shay. Hi, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Wait, you guys did realize this is the wear something you'd never be caught dead in a party, right? No, but I'm wearing Grace's old maternity clothes, so that kind of works out. And you? This is it. Well, you're actually kind of perfect, so come on in. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead naked. Yeah. Hey, um, are you a pregnant teen or something? Yeah, I am. Do you live under a freeway and are going to have a homeless baby and use it to raise more money? No, I'm just a regular pregnant teen. Ah, oh, right on. I wouldn't be caught dead having a baby. <laughs> hey, is it okay if I just come a little closer? So next to you guys for a second. I just want, I gotta tell you something. <sighs> Dude, I'm on acid. I'm tripping, y'all. <laughs> That's the way how Britney Spears would say it. She'd be like, I'm tripping, y'all. <laughs> We can go somewhere else. Yeah. No, wait, wait, just, wait. Say, say something familiar, man, please. Just say something familiar. I'm just seeing too many ghosts. <clears throat> French fries. Yeah. Mr. Bubble. Yeah. Monkeys? The ones that rip your balls off or not sharing birthday cake or the nice one? No, the nice ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go, baby, go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> People sign my belly. Oh. <laughs> Seems sweet at the time. Have a great summer. Good luck with the new kid. <laughs> I was never into yearbooks. Do you want to sign? Um, all right. Do you think it might just be easier if you talked about him with Grace? Floodgates. I don't know what I'd do if they opened. I'll talk about someone, but it'll really be him. Why would you do that? Because there are things I need to tell you. I knew this boy it was really wonderful to me. Is that okay? Yes. The first time I saw him was in freshman English. He wore a baseball hat on the first day of school, and our teacher made him take it off, and his hair was all pasted on top of his head. And he smiled at me while he tried to fix it. And we watched each other after that. And I started to feel like I knew him. I looked at his yearbook picture so often, I knew his face by heart. Our senior year, I took piano, and he had soccer. So we would pass each other every day after school in the exact same spot. And it became something I look forward to. So much so that I could tell you all the days he was absent because those were the days that I was disappointed. And sometimes he would look at me. Sometimes he would turn away. And sometimes it would be so intense that we would start looking at each other from the very beginning of the steps. And then on the last day, he talked to me. And everything he said was exactly how I pictured it would be. And he felt the way he felt in my dreams, and I thought everything was happening 
exactly the way it was supposed to. And I was the happiest I've ever been. <laughs> Happy and scared all at the same time. And if he had signed my belly, he would have written something comforting. <gasps> That's one of the most difficult integrals I've ever solved. It took me three years to do it. And I was in love with him. That's why I'm keeping this baby. I was in love with him for four years. I barely knew it, but everything was exactly how I imagined it. Everything was just how I pictured it. I had to keep this baby. I think he was the love of my life. I'm very tired. I can't fight it anymore. I'm so tired. A good story. Thanks. No, I mean, I, I don't. I don't mean it that way. I mean, it was good to hear. Not good for you, but good for me, I guess. So, what was your brother's funeral like? I don't remember. It's all just a blur. No, I, I really don't remember. I was too fucked up. I didn't know you get high. I don't. My mom tests me every two weeks. It's pretty much the only thing they do that proves they know I'm alive. You need a ride home? Yeah, sure. Baby is head down, which means you're getting very close. How are you feeling, Mr. Brewer? You look like you can use some rest. Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. How's the baby? Just where we want her to be right now. It's a girl. I'm sorry. I thought you knew. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, congratulations. Is she healthy? Doesn't get any stronger than that heartbeat. You've taken really good care of her. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. This is wonderful. Excuse me. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Good. Somebody has to stand strong in this family. Somebody has to be together. If I fall apart, everything goes to hell in a handbasket. I'm so sorry that I can't handle anything but my grief, and I don't treat this family like a goddamn army. It's not all about you and your grief, Grace. There are people in our lives who need our attention. Oh, you don't give a puppy to someone who's just lost their dog. You just don't do that. That's what I'm going to do. Give it back. Hmm? Give it 20 bucks. We shall look. Treat her like she's a gift that was given to us, like it makes it okay that our son is gone. It doesn't soften the blow. She does for me. Oh, well, I'm so glad for you. I'm so glad that the, the girl that is the reason our son is dead softens the blow for you. That's unfair. 
What was he doing in the middle of the road? If he'd been with his friends, if he'd been with us, would he have been in the middle of the road? Answer me that. You don't know anything about it. You haven't made the slightest effort to get to know this I girl. I don't want to get to know her. Why can't you understand that? It should have been her that died that night. It should have been her. Ashley left this scarf in my car. Um, who are you? I'm Amy. I live here. Amy. Yeah. Ashley's older sister, Amy. What'd she tell you? I grabbed a live wire, fell overboard in our family cruise. What'd you tell him this time, you freak? Ryan, I'm telling Mom. I hate you, freak. Ryan! Ryan, please, wait, I can explain. Ryan, please just listen to me. They don't pay any attention to me in there. I might as well be dead. You have no idea what it is. Yes, I do. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're a liar. That's what you are. Look, it's all bad. Trust me. No idea what it's like. Say it. So you have no idea what it's like. I have no idea. Open the gate. Open the fucking gate. Ryan, look, please. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to like me. Fuck you. Hello? Hello? Done. I called Gloria. You said we were going to talk about it. couldn't live with the house so neglected. Now, come on, please. Hey. What's wrong with you? How did she do this? Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa. What is Chris. this? You washed his shirt? Go. You're fired. Oh, Chris, what are you doing? Stop it. Chris. You've erased him. You did it on purpose. What are you doing? You're acting like a child. I've done nothing like that at all. To, to be able to see his pictures and, and just smell him. And now there's he's gone. He's here. He's he isn't here. He's dead. He had all the symptoms of a heart attack. Difficulty breathing, tightness in his chest, heartbeat changes, dizziness. But it wasn't a heart attack. Not as far as we can tell. This EKG looks normal. What was it? Well, his body is under an incredible amount of stress, Mrs. Brewer. He has high blood pressure. His sinuses have led to an ear infection. He's suffering from extreme sleep deprivation. But it was not a heart attack. Sometimes patients manifest real symptoms because it's easier to feel physical pain than emotional. Story, my whatever, whatever it is you people do here. Yes, of course. Um, where do I start? Where, where do you want me to start? You start wherever you like. Okay. Can I say my brother's an asshole? You can say whatever you want. Okay, my brother is an asshole, right? And now he's some fucking martyr god. Now that he's dead, he's dead. By the way, he's he's dead, right? Did you not get a chance to see the body? I um, no, I was too fucked up. My mom came in to get me, and I couldn't even move. I couldn't move my head, so I didn't get to say goodbye. 
I just uh, laid there in my bed thinking about all the attention he was going to get whenever he came home and how all of his stupid friends were going to sign his cast and how he'd probably get a pity lay out of it. So um, I didn't get to say goodbye. And, um, you know, the thing was how about Bennett? Um, the thing was, he, uh... He was never an asshole. He was actually really cool to me. And he could have ratted me out like a thousand times, and he never did. Me and him used to do all kinds of fun shit together, and the truth is, I wanted to be just like him. I loved him more than anything. And I was too fucked up to say goodbye. And in the end, that's all I ever gave him was nothing. You know how that feels to have one shot and fucking just blow it? It's gone. I'll never get that chance again. I just miss him so much. Yesterday morning. Nobody called me. Is he all right? He seems okay. He's getting transferred over to Rikers in about 10 minutes. Can I talk to him? Make it quick. Hello. I'm Grace. Brewer. Bennett's mother. The boy in the car. So? So you were the last person to see my son alive. Yeah, well, I had the green. I'm gonna sue your whole family. You remember? Um, are you feeling better? Does it look like I'm feeling fucking better? Huh? Look, um, I saw the surveillance video, and it looks like you spoke to my son, like you comforted him after the accident. I didn't comfort anybody. Okay? Now I got some other shit on my mind if you didn't notice. Do you remember if he was in pain? I'm not doing this, lady. I have waited a very long time to talk to you. Please. Just go. No, Get out. No, please. I can't. Get out. I can't. He didn't die a hero or anything. That's what you want to hear. It isn't. It happened. It happened fast. He asked me if it, if it was his fault. And, and then you told him that it wasn't? I told him not to worry about it. And what else? You really want to know this, lady? More than anything. His body was caught in between the front end of my truck and his door. There was so much crushed metal. I don't know, maybe it was holding him together. I didn't want to move him. I don't think I could even if I tried. But, uh, his right arm was so far behind his body, it looked like it wasn't even attached. I never seen anything like it. I had to climb out over the top of my truck uh, just to get to him. I don't think he was in pain. I just uh, think he was cold. And then you gave him your jacket. Yeah, but it didn't make it any better. It was, um, the blood. The blood was making him cold. How much blood? How much? More than, uh, I've ever seen. Was he scared? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there was, uh... Fluid everywhere, but a bunch of stuff coming out of him, you know. Yeah. Uh, he might he might have been crying, I guess. I don't know. Was he crying because he was in pain, or was he crying because he was scared? What's the difference? And which one was it? Scared, I guess. Do you think he knew he was dying? Did he know he was dying? He knew it was bad. 
but it's not like we were talking about God or anything. I just told him, listen for those sirens. Once you hear the siren, everything will be all right. <laughs> he needed me and I wasn't there. I should have been there to make sure that he wasn't afraid and tell him that I loved him. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, you want some uh, water? You needed me, and he called out for me, and I wasn't even there. He didn't call for you. He called out for her over and over again, that uh, girl in his car. Rose? Rose. All he cared about was Rose. If she was hurt, if she was in pain, if, if she was asking for him, he kept telling me over and over again, you, you've got to help her, you should be taking care of her, but uh, I thought she was dead. He even asked me to turn up the radio. This poor kid, he's got blood coming out of his ears. He wanted her to hear this song that was playing. He thought she might like to hear it. I have to go. Relax, you can stay here as long as you want. And Rose? I've called my mom from women's correctional facilities. This is like tiny, I swear. Hi, Lydia? Yeah, hi, uh, this is Shay. I'm Rose's friend from work. Is everyone okay? Rose is absolutely fine. And um, she actually wants me to tell you something, which, okay, well, we're not gonna need a lot of your time, so. Uh, I, I didn't know. Um, she lost her job. And she only has 15 minutes left on the phone. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear about all that, but uh, Rose wants me to tell you something, which is that she is pregnant. <laughs> Yay! Um, I, I'd say just like three or four months. Yeah. Oh, she's keeping it. She put off Barnard for a year. And um, yeah, she's just like handling it like a total Republican. And um, she wants you to know that she is not at all scared. And uh, she's getting support from the father's family. and. Um, I, I don't know. I guess just whatever she needs. Okay. Um, she wants me to ask you something. Tell her it's okay. If she wants to come here. Tell her it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Um. What? Um, she wants you to ask uh, for 10000 up front. She says that she'll come help you if you can get the 10000 now. Because, um... Well, she thinks that's what you'll need. She seemed, like, really glad to hear that you were doing okay. It's fine. Doctor said you could go? Yeah. Good. You talked with Jordan Walker, didn't you? Yes. What did you learn? Bennett loved her, didn't he? for me. Is that such a terrible thing? I call for you. I call for you every day. I'm here now. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God, my boy. Oh, my boy. Look at me, Alan. Look at me. Listen, listen to me. It was a mistake. 
It was a mistake. Oh. He died on impact. He didn't suffer at all. You couldn't have done anything. He didn't suffer. There was no suffering. There was nothing you could have done to help him. Really? Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. No. It's okay. Chris, we have to bring her home. We have to. would be caught dead dressed like that. Uh, I'm looking for Rose. But you lost her? In a way. I don't know where she is. I I'd like very much to find her. We're very worried, so please, if you, if you can tell us something, at least. It's about time. Try the place where they crashed. She goes there in the afternoons. supposed to raise her without ever talking about her father? Tell her she can't even mention his name in front of her grandfather because he hasn't completely acknowledged that he's dead? Or worry at night that her grandmother is going to smother her in her sleep because she'd rather she didn't exist? Or that her uncle will leave urine samples next to her crib? I'm sorry, that wasn't fair. I like you, Ryan. I do. Thank you. Look, I promise I won't smother her in her crib. I know I wasn't very helpful to you in your situation, and if I had to do it again, I would do it completely differently. Rose. Look. Once you have this baby, you'll understand that, that, that the most horrible thing that can happen to a mother is to lose her child. I'm sorry for what happened between us. Please, Rose. Give us a chance here. Just, just get in the car with us. Please. I don't even know who he is. What do you want to know? We'll tell you. I want to know everything I would know if he was still alive. I want more memories of him. We'll tell you everything you want to know about him. We'll just keep talking until the baby comes. There's a picture of Bennett on the track. Was he fast? Is my baby going to be fast? Yes. How fast? 50 second, 400 meter. Fast. Wow. Oh. Okay. Okay. He was voted best all around. Why did they, why did people like him so much? 
Help me! Uh, because he was a nice guy. Uh, in third grade, when his friend Jack got glasses, Bennett felt so bad for him that he took Alan's reading glasses, remember? And when he wore them to school the next day, so Jack would be the only one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, who's this girl he's with? Um, that is his prom date, and he only went with her because she gave good head. Ryan! That's true! Well, that's good. I like that. That's information. She was a very smart girl. They studied uh, English Lit together one summer at Oxford. Okay. <laughs> what else? Yeah. That's true. It's what true. else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, uh, he hated to have his picture taken. Uh, whenever I went to take his picture, he'd always make this horrible face. Oh, what was the face? Oh, it was a bratty face. Show me the face! That's terrible. <laughs> He'd eat anything off his plate as long as it was separated. He'd That's take true. all the toppings off his pizza and he'd eat them in order. Okay. It, was really, it was really weird. Well, it was a little OCD, but in a very sweet way, right? Very sweet. Uh, when he used to eat Cheerios, he'd eat them in pairs because he didn't want them to be alone uh, in his tummy. God, this hurts. I used to give him shit for that all the time. Yeah, and he, he never flossed, uh, but he did wear an enormous amount of cologne once he discovered it, and it really <laughs> smelled like a mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh, it's happening! <laughs> Then it lived for 18 years, three months, seven days, two hours, 36 minutes. He broke six bones in his lifetime and had a 3.97 GPA. He never had a girlfriend before he met you. His height's temperature was 104.3. And uh, he knew how to count before he said his first word. Which was? Wow. wow. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Great. Just keep breathing. That's it, sweetheart. Okay, squeeze my hand if you have to. <laughs> You're doing great. That's it. Just keep breathing. That's it. We'll be there soon. That's a girl. The lullaby keeps on playing. You're thinking it's a dream. Cause you messed up. Ruby. And you got a good mind to pray. They say it's our party's plan. But what if he's got slippery hands? Well, it's a sad face you wear. Like a burned eye sun. But you miss those loving eyes. A grown man will care about his blue lace undone, but you just missed us loving on. Yeah.